Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a video for you guys on how to make a random spinner. So you can make this random spinner here uh, for your own game or for your lesson. So you can click on it and see how it works. You click on it again to stop the spinner. Again, you can click on the spinner here and you can click on it again to stop the spinner. As I mentioned, you can use this for a lesson, use this for your own game. And I'll show you guys how to do that uh, later in this video. So I hope you guys can watch this video until the end to learn how to make your own random spinner. Also, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to uh, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. And if you guys find my materials useful, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. So here is a random spinner with uh, some images. You can add whatever image you want. I just chose some foods here. You click on the spinner and you click on it again to stop. As I mentioned, you can uh, put random uh, pictures in here or put a picture uh, that you want to use for your own lesson or for your game. All right, to make your random spinner, just go to uh, file here and go to new presentation and click on that. And now we have a, a blank presentation, so we can delete this, we don't need this, and we also don't need this. Next, you want to grab your shape tools, so we just click on that, and we're going to choose this circle tool here. You just drag it anywhere, it doesn't really matter, just drag it here for now in the middle. And once you are happy with the um, alignment, you can change the, um, the the height and the width. So we'll keep it the same here. I think six six is okay. That looks good to me. So we could take out the um, take off the outline for the shape. We don't need the outline. And now we want to uh, format the shape to give it some uh, some color. Um, we'll click here on the paint bucket for fill and then we'll choose gradient fill it's already set to uh, a gradient color that I used earlier uh, but you could use whatever color you want for your uh, your spinner so again uh, click on gradient fill here and you can click on the little arrows here to change the color um, this one is uh, set to about 50 uh, so we'll change that to 50 or you can do 70 um, it's really up to you. Um, here I'll choose like a darker blue, um, but that doesn't look right. So we'll adjust that a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll go with just the regular blue again. And um, I think this one, we'll set it to 50. And then I think light blue is okay. All right, now we're going to click on the shape tools again, and we want the straight uh, tool, and we're going to connect here. So we'll click here, drag it, and connect here. We want to make kind of like a pie chart. Um, so we'll make the thickness here a little thicker. We can't really see that, so we'll make it thicker. I'll make it to about, uh, let's make it to six. And we want to do uh, the same for the other um, uh, line tool. So click on the shape you go to line tools click on a, a point here and connect it to here and again we'll make the thickness to six and uh I'll work a little faster now um so you get the idea click on the shape tool line tools and click on a point and connect it to another point and then change the thickness to six all right now we just want to go to the text box here click on that drag uh, the shape here and we'll add our text inside this box um, for this demonstration I'm going to, I'm going to use some um, I'm going to just use a regular quirky font and um, I'll adjust the size until I'm happy with it um, 
you can adjust it to whatever size you want and then you can just write your points inside here and once you have uh, done that we're going to make a, uh, a copy of this so i think i'm happy with this size this looks good to me uh, click on it and i'm just going to hit Control c and then Control v to paste a couple times and we'll add this into our um, random spinner later so i'm just going to work a little faster now i'm going to just type a few more here copy and paste and change the points Um, now all we have to do is drag these texts into our random spinner. So let's grab one here and drag that into the random spinner and then we we'll just rotate it uh, so that it fits into our circle here. And then when you're happy with it, uh, you can grab the next one and drag it in and just rotate it until you're happy. drag your mouse over everything here and then we're going to go to format shape and go to text here click on gradient fill and we're just going to choose uh, linear here and then we're going to add a gradient color to it uh, you can use whatever color you want for your text it's really up to you you can even keep them plain if uh, if you want I'm just going to choose uh, maybe this color I want something bright maybe pink uh, and then yellow, I think it's fine here. And then let's give it a uh, shape format and highlight the shape a little bit, maybe with white here, that's fine. Click on that. And now we're going to give it a shadow. So click on text option, go to uh, shadow, and we'll just drop a shadow in there. And maybe I think dark color is fine. Make sure the transparency is zero and the blur is also zero so that it stands out and maybe I want to make it a little bigger I think that's okay and now after that I want to go to the glow option and I'm going to click on a color that uh, matches the wheel a little bit so maybe the light blue here and then we just have to make um, the size a little bigger and the transparency maybe about 60 is good I think or maybe 50 all right uh, I think that looks good um, now we can um, start grouping our objects together but before that um, let's give um, the spinner the wheel a, a unique shape so let's click on shape option here and let's give it gl a glow too Um, we can also give it a 3D format. Uh, so click on that. Click on top bevel here, and you can choose whatever um, bevel you want for your wheel. Um, I like um, this one in particular, and also um, this one. So we're going to try this one, and we'll tr uh, change the width to maybe 14, and that looks good. And you can also change the material and lighting of your um, your wheel here so you can click on that to see which one you like you can play around with it and see which one you like I click on this one and you can see that it looks like that and let's try a different one okay once you're happy with the uh, material you can also change the um, the lighting of your your wheel so I'll choose this one, um, it's a little dark, that one looks okay, and this one looks okay. So I'm happy with this. Now we're going to animate this. So what you want to do is, you want to um, click here and drag your mouse across everything. And then you want to go um, to right click and go to group. So now it's one, uh, one shape. Now you want to give this a name so you uh, can find it later. So here it says group 20, so we're going to change it to a spinner. 
good and now we're ready to animate it so click on the new shape here and go to animation and we're going to use spin so we're just going to use two animation uh, for this random spinner so we're going to use spin and let's check it out um, let's go to timing and we'll change the speed a little make it a little faster and hit the play button here uh, that looks okay um, you can make it faster by changing the speed again okay that looks good to me and now we want to go to repeat and go to until next click here choose until next click To make the spinner stop, all we have to do is uh, highlight the wheel again here and go to appear here. And then you want to drag this under the trigger spinner and make sure it's set to on click. And this is set to on click as well. All right. And now we can test out the new wheel here. So click on it and click on it again. And you notice it stops. If you're trying to use your spinner and it doesn't spin properly, it's probably due to this right here. So make sure that your text is within the circle and not outside of the circle. Um, so this is what it looks like when the text is outside of the circle or a shape is outside of the circle. So make sure that it's within the circle. So to fix that is very simple. Just make sure um, the shape is within. You can drag the, the text box inside the circle and test it out again. And now your random spinner is working properly. Now I want to make an arrow or a pointer for my spinner. Um, we're going to go to shape tools here and look for a shape that we want. I think I will choose this one and now I'll just drag the shape here until I'm happy with the, the size and length. And then I'm just going to flip it horizontally here and drag it onto my spinner here. And then I can remove the outline because we don't need that. And then we're going to go to our format shape tool. Uh, you can do that by right clicking on your shape here as well and then I'll choose a gradient um, I think I like this color and but I want this to be a little bit more purplish so I'll click on that and um, maybe you could change it to radio and once you have ch uh, chosen the color that you like and um, you can play around with it a little bit here um, I'll make sure the position is to about right there now we can click on this shape again and then I will go to um, here shape option and click on 3d 3d format and I will choose top bevel and the same as uh, for the wheel I'll use it for this as well and change it to 14 and the material well we we'll, can choose uh, maybe this third option here and the lighting uh, maybe the second option and that looks good to me and now I want to give it like a glow so click on glow and I want something that's similar to the the pointer there maybe this pink and I'll change that's a little big so we'll make it a little smaller and the transparency maybe about 60 I think that's okay uh, maybe there it's okay and I think that looks good and we can check it out to see what that looks like and now we have a wheel and pointer here so click on that click stop there you go 20 points now we had have our random wheel working let's just change the background here to black so you can see it better and let's click on again and there you go and like I said, you can do the same thing with pictures instead of uh, text here. Um, just put the picture inside the circle, highlight everything, and then choose um, group picture or group image uh, so that it's one, one image or one shape.
and then animate it using the spin option and the appear option. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little tutorial video and you find it useful. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell. Um, also, you can help the channel out by liking, commenting, and sharing. Again, I want to wish you guys the best of luck in your classes.